I am joined by Ashton Eaton, the reigning Olympic decathlon champion, which technically makes you the greatest athlete in the world. How does that feel? Uh, <laughs> feels like a little too much. <laughs> Ten events is is a lot for uh, for anybody. Um, how do, how does one become a decathlete? Because were you just good at a lot of things, and it was like, you know what, I'm just I'm just going to do them all. The most of the stories I've heard, uh, an athlete doesn't necessarily choose to do the decathlon. Okay. They get chosen by the event in a way. So when I was younger, I did do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And one of my main goals was actually to go to college. But I wasn't necessarily good enough at any one thing to get a scholarship or something like that. But one of my coaches was privy enough about track and field. And he thought, you know what? You might be good at a lot of different things. So maybe say you'll be a decathlete. Why not? And so I said, sure. Obviously, it's worked out for you pretty well. So far, um, so good. Well, you mentioned that you had played some other sports. You played uh, football played and football. considered playing football in college. What what position were you were you gunning for? <laughs> well, I was a really small, skinny guy. Uh -huh. I think I was just fast, and receiver made the most sense. But I couldn't catch, at least with a helmet on. So, running back was what I was going for. Ah. Yeah. It could, listen. It always work out. Maybe. You're only, you're only 28 years old. Yeah, still, 180 pounds. Sure, there's a career <laughs> there. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, all right, so heading into the, the Rio games, obviously you're the reigning, the reigning champion. What, do you feel like that gives you any sort of mental edge or is it, is it, are you approaching it the same way you would as if it were your, your first Olympics? I do think there's a, a mental edge in the sense that when you've been through something once, you have learned from it and you have that experience to draw from. Mm -hmm. And so having already gone to the games helps for sure. I remember being super nervous on my first one and not really knowing what to do or how to act or whatever, just what the outcome would be or how I'd respond. Sure. And so this, I know all that now. How do you, how do you counter those nerves? Like, do you have like a, oh, you don't. a little system? You don't, you just, you embrace it? Well, I'm a firm believer that I mean, if you're not nervous, I don't think, I think that's bad. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, I've only had a few instances where I was, wasn't nervous, and I never did well. So I kind of need that. Uh, but I don't think, I don't have any counter. I just accept you. it. Plus, you only have two options. You either do it or you don't. Is there, is there a specific event in the decathlon that makes you more nervous than other ones? I, I get pretty nervous about the 400. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> one of my favorite. That would make anybody nervous. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. But And in the very first event, I'm always nervous just because to get it started, you have the gun firing off and you're just thinking, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> but mm -hmm. they're like, no, on your mark, you know. And you're off. Yeah. Um, all right, so you, you're you married to a heptathlete. Mm -hmm. uh, your wife, Brienne, you guys are seriously so adorable on Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, hashtag relationship goals. <laughs> um, you're always yeah. cooking together and it's really, really cute. Um, well, but she's I'm, always cooking and then saying, come over here and take a picture. And you're like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> um, but I'm just wondering, the two incredible athletes living together in this in the same house, what's, what's that dynamic like? Is there is there a little competition between you and your wife? Like, I, I imagine... Working? Seeing from the outside in, there could be, or I mean, I, I can see it's a valid question to ask, but it's really not. Um, we are super laid back. We don't really do much but sit around <laughs> and take cooking pictures, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and post really adorable pictures yeah. on Instagram. But we're, we have a really good, we're just perfect teammates, mm -hmm. really. Um, she fills in all the gaps that I have, and I fill in any gaps that she might have. And the way I kind of see it is just like a gear kind of fitting together. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's really good. Yeah, it sounds like everything's in good shape for you, Ashton. Uh, can't wait to watch you compete. Yeah. In Rio, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.